What's up, guys? <laughs> hey, and welcome back to Bourbon Blind, where the guys drink what you all pick. So please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section or email me at bourbonblindtasting at gmail.com. Right now we're under construction, so I will get your bottle as soon as I find it. I'll get it on the show. So tonight's bottle comes from Corey Maffey. As always, the guys aren't going to know what they're drinking. They're going to tell you what they think with the bourbon in their glass. And then they're going to tell you how much they're willing to pay without the hype of the label. And I don't even know if I showed you guys this bottle. I'm pretty excited to see what they think of it. Especially after... <laughs> caught it. Especially after last week's, like, really sad thing of uh, the Larceny Barrel Proof. That made me so sad. So t this weekend they'll be doing uh, RC6. We'll see what they think of that. If you like what you see, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Um, visit us over on Facebook at Bourbon Blind Nation. Also, we're doing a meetup. So if you're interested in coming and hanging out with us for the day and drinking some really awesome bourbon, uh, go on over to Facebook, Bourbon Blind Nation. All the details are there. And I, with that, I'm going to go get the guys and we'll see what they think of Maker's Mark RC6. What's up guys? Welcome back to Bourbon Blind. I'm Kyle. I'm Nick. You know what's up. We taste whiskey. We give it a price tag without the hype of the label. No label. No label. No label. Nondescript so, black bag. Don't look at it. Nothing yep. to see here. Also, no script. Like no some script. people. <laughs> this. Just hide this piece of paper with our lines down here. <laughs> it makes it real easy to make a fool of ourselves. You gonna do this on purpose? Make a fool of myself? Yeah. I mean, it just kind of comes naturally. Yeah, me too. Cheers. Cheers to that. Caramel. Caramel apples. Ooh. And peaches. Millions of peaches. Peaches for me. Millions of peaches. Oh, uh, you have to stop that right there. Otherwise, it's peaches copyright. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hate us, YouTube. Copyright. Don't hate us because you ain't us. <laughs> They hate us because they ain't us. <laughs> it smells good. It's not super complex on the mm -hmm. nose, but everything is very pleasant. It really is. like I got I pick up like no ethanol. Caramel, apples, other like summer fruit, like mm -hmm. pear, peaches. It's like a summer cookout. Yeah. But mixed in with the caramel apples from Halloween. Like a warm apple pie on the grill. I have never grilled <laughs> apple pie. Well, you're missing out, sir. Clearly. I know what's on your agenda for this weekend now. It just depends on what my wife says is on my agenda for this weekend. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Color's good. Yeah. Legs are running, but not fast. No, they're, they're pretty thick. Yeah. Well, anyway, I said we get in here. Touche. Good nose. Good nose. <laughs> Mmm. Off the bat, have you ever had like an apple flavored like homemade soda? No. That's what I got. But I imagine like the Jones soda. It was like, almost like a like a fizzy carbonated feeling. <clears throat> right. With a little bit of apple flavor. You know, like Jones soda, like a like an apple version yeah. of Jones soda. Just like that. That's tasty. More caramel and baking spices. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I changed the way I said caramel. I now say caramel, because you people in the comments keep correcting me. Because he says it wrong. I say it like an American. Caramel. Caramel. That's, there's another A. <laughs> what are you doing with it? It's a silent A. It's... <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's pronounced knife, okay? It is. And kiwi 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 Q is just... Like, Q with four silent letters behind it. It literally is. I like this. I like it too. I don't know what it is. There is something weird on the nose, like... Pick up a little bit of ethanol if you get deep in there. But not much. 
ethanol, but also, and this is going to sound bad, like a cleaning detergent. Like some so, sort of like cleaning... I, I know what you're going like, to. You know what I, I mean? Get, I pick up less of that and more of like a... Like a Sharpie. It's like one of those like country death. Sorry, country fresh. The bug spray. It's like country fresh and it still smells like country death. We clearly use very different bug sprays. <laughs> you, don't, you don't use country death? We use traps at my house because there's so many. Hmm. Yeah, he's out in the sticks. In Literally. The, in the boonies. Literally in the sticks. <laughs> the, the dog that lives outside drags up deer carcasses. Regularly. All the time. There's been rib cages on my yard more than more times than I'd like to admit. We have a dedicated trash can for bones. <sighs> she is living her best dog life, Shh. though. Happiest dog I've ever met in my <laughs> life. <laughs> Blind in one eye, been gored by a deer. You walk up, and she's like, hey... Also the sweetest dog you've ever seen. Sweetest thing on the planet. Yep. Unless you're wildlife of you, any kind. You hear all these stories of like this massive like killer and she's not a small dog. No, she's like a hundred pound shepherd mix. She looks like she's 70 pounds, but she is solid. Yeah. Like she's super solid built. You um, knock on her thinking it's the front door. But you know when you take down deer regularly. <laughs> I've, I've literally <laughs> seen her chase down wildlife across the front yard. Uh, just full speed off the porch, just goes. Living her best dog life. I swear. I like this bourbon. I do too. So, tables have turned. You added water to your first, and I don't really want to. Mmm. I like it. Okay. Now I do. Now what? I want to. See, now you're excited. I'm usually what? never not excited for bourbon. Fair. So on the nose, it brought out a little bit of the ethanol. Yeah. But a lot of the notes are still there. More citrusy. Yeah. Than less savory, sweet. And more citrus than sweet. Yeah. I'd say it was kind of sweet before. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well. That's not upsetting. That's refreshing. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> Like, water is totally fine to add to this. I would say this, this over this is, an ice cube would be unreal. I was about to say that, like, straight, it is good. Not, not a single problem with it straight. Yeah. However, like, on a hot summer day, sitting outside or something, this over ice or an ice cube. Or any ice, whatever. Also, like, this is good. Right? I'm not mad at that at all. Go back to the original. Much more dark on the nose in the original. Dark fruits. Something, Caramel. Something I'm trying to pick out of the one with the water. <sighs> Even with the water, the finish hangs out. It really does. Like, what sort of witchcraft is this? I don't know. It's good with it. It's good without it. It doesn't destroy it. It just changes it. Right. It's like, hey, we're going to take everything that was dark and make it a little lighter. It's like a pretty girl that changes out of her gym outfit right. into like a nice dress. She's still just as attractive, just different. Or a pretty boy. I'm not judgmental. It's 2020. You can be what you want to be. This is unique. Unique New York. Unique New York. <laughs> you're welcome. I'll be here th till Thursday. Try the veal. It's delicious. No, you're not. You're leaving Wednesday. I am. New Orleans Bourbon Festival, which just happened last week, if you're watching this now. You left Wednesday. I did. I left Wednesday, <laughs> which is in two days. <laughs> Shh, you're breaking the fourth wall. I left two days from now. <laughs> I did go out of town two days ago. From now. From now. What? <laughs> I'm... Going, going from the one with the water to the full strength to the untainted... Not that mm. it's really tainted, because it's still delicious. Um, it's way darker than I initially thought it was. It is. The unleaded version with the water. It's it's good. The leaded version is also good. So if you like your bourbon on the spicier side, 
Without the water. Leave it without the water. No. If you like it a little on the sweeter side, lighter side, go with the water. This is a bourbon for everyone. Literally. Everyone's bourbon. Every man, every woman. I won't say every child, but you do you. Right. Um, which we don't condone underage drinking. Nope, not at all. Um, I'm... I want to say 60 to 70 bucks is what I'm in this. Yeah, I was going to say like 55, 65. Right around yeah. there. It's good. This, is a, this could very easily be a real solid daily. Absolutely. I like it. Mm -hmm. I'm <sighs> Marked the time and day, I'm actually going to add water the rest of this. Just because I enjoyed it so much. I did. Noted. Noted. Make a note in the ship's log. Captain's notes. Captain's log. Bourbon date today. I just went full nerd. <laughs> Did not. I'm not judging. Full nerd. All right. I think so you is, give your This price. is the only episode that uh, we've done where we've added water to both. Mm -hmm. On purpose. It's just... Good. It's real good. I'd almost be tempted to say, like... I, I don't want to say 70 to 80, but, it, like, a good solid 70. Yeah, I'm, like, you know 55, I mean? 65 bucks. Like, I'm totally comfortable with that. Yeah. Like, that's a bottle I'd see and be like, ooh, taking that home. Right? So, let's... Speaking about seeing the bottle, let's... Let's see the bottle. Let's see what it be. Then do what it do. <laughs> Maker's Mark RC6. What's up? I knew it was good from the get-go. First time I tried it in yep. your office. And uh, it just keeps getting better, too. And I stand by my statement that that's freaking delicious. It is. It really is. It is 10 virgin toasted American oak staves. Um, so when you, do, when you go to do a private selection of Maker's Mark, it looks like this. And... You can do all kinds of different numbers of staves, up to 10. So you can do your own unique take on it. And this one, they did 10 of the Toasted Virgin American Oak staves. And um, it's just real freaking good. Yeah, that's fantastic. It really is. Um, if you can find some, and it is a limited release, sadly, I say go for it, man. It's 108 proof. 108 point, what, one? Something like 108 that. 108 point two? Yeah. And it's, it's freaking delicious, man. It really is. I was surprised how well it held up to water. Yeah. I really am. So I think retail on this is right around 60 to 70 bucks. I'm 100% good with that. 100%. Like I said, I'm real solid 70 bucks. I'm real Easy. sad that that's not like an, an on the shelf. Oh, yeah. If that like, was, if, if I was that sitting next to like Makers 46, I'd grab that all day long. And Makers 46 is good. I was going to say, and for the record, I would definitely take Makers 46 over regular Makers. Regular Makers, not a huge fan. Makers 46, I've actually been grabbing that just out of the cabinet for myself on a uh, on a more regular basis. Yeah. It's it's just good. Yeah, I've, I've had a couple of the different uh, Makers Private Select stuff, mm -hmm. uh, and they seem kind of hit or miss. They really are. So some I got one are really hot, and some are really good. Yeah. So I was, that's exactly what I was gonna say. Some are, um, like you said, really hot and just lots of ethanol and burn, while other ones are just this like magical concoction of flavors and um, magical it's... magical concoction. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So if you guys can find some, I definitely say pick it up uh, as long as it's under 70, 80 bucks. Um, yeah. I'm I'm half tempted to say as long as it's under ninety bucks, right? It's like, real good. So, I think that would hold up really well against bourbons, a lot more expensive than it is. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is one of those releases like it's sixty seventy bucks and it's worth it. Absolutely. Like some releases sixty seventy bucks and they're not yeah. all that great. You get home, you're real excited, and you mm -hmm. pop it and you pour it in your glass and you let it breathe for a minute. And you take a sip and you're like. Damn. <laughs> so, anyway, um, we're going to go ahead and finish this bottle. Yeah. So, until Friday, noon central next week, cheers and drink blind. Take this home. <laughs>